Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another update for the Pandos Eyeshadows project. This was started a few years ago by Alexi, as I'm sure everybody knows at this point. Um, she's not doing it anymore this year, but a lot of people are and it really is one of my favorite projects to watch and to actually do myself as well. And I'm really, really excited for this update because we've got some new pens. So let's take a look at where we are at. So I'm just gonna go from the top and not keep you guys in suspense for too long. My sleek palette and the lovely orange shade that is in here. I used it 99 times before and since then I've used it another seven times. Which might already tell you something because I was using it a whole lot. I don't know if you can see it from here. I think you can. I've got a pen. It took me 106 uses. And like more people have been saying, that's not like one dip, that's just a use, whether I use it in my crease or on my lid or whatever. 106 <laughs> uses. And I've hit pan. I'm so excited. It took so long. But I do like an orange shade, so I didn't mind too much, but I'm so excited. To actually finally be able to show you guys pan because I love pan and I know you guys like <laughs> seeing pan as well and I get to roll in a new shade which is always nice so yeah very 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 excited Then just let's take a quick look at the red one right here as well, because that one is in here as well. As you can see, no pen there yet. I used this one another five times, which means I've used it a total of six times. Um, if that one is going to be similar as this one, I need a hundred more uses <laughs> still. But I feel like this one is definitely a bit more powdery, so I'm uh, hoping I will not need 106 uses for that one. <laughs> we'll find out at some point. Anyway, moving on to the next one, and that is the Creative Me palette from um, Coastal Sense. Yes, that's it. In here, I've been working on the green shade, which I think you can even see a little bit of a dip starting to form from over there, which means that the dip is definitely getting a bit deeper. Uh, I've used this one another seven times, which means it's a total of 30. I have this on my lid right now as well with um, that green shade from my Panda palette kind of on top of it to bring out the green in that Panda palette shade a little bit more and I really like kind of the combination of that so yeah it's moving and I definitely want to focus on this one a little bit more in the next month to try and see if I maybe can hit pan. I uh, have never hit pan on these pots before so I don't really know how long it would take me but we'll see. Then we had, oh that's the last one already, Free Love in my Urban Decay uh, shadow box. And that is the orange shade right here. I already hit shade, I already hit pan on two shades in here. And uh, the orange one is what I'm working on right now. I also used this, no I used this seven times actually. And that brings me to a total of 19. Um, the green shade definitely took me a good while to hit pan on, whereas the other one right here went a little bit quicker. I think this one took me about 30 uses or so. I feel like the orange one, consistency-wise, might be closer to the green shade. Um, so I'm curious to see how long it's going to take me to hit pan on that one. But it's a really like lovely color. And saying that, I'm realizing that I forgot to actually do some swatches for you guys. So let's do that as well so the bright orange shade i'm gonna put that on my arm that is what i've been working with for i think the biggest part of the year <laughs> and now we're almost getting to halloween and then it rolls out of course um 
and oh no i did not get all of them yet the sleek um oh so special palette i was working on like the gray charcoal type of color in here and um, so i hit two pans this time around and i'm really excited about that because i'm also trying to focus on a lot of other things at the same time uh so yeah, I hit pan on this one as well, and this one I used another three times. I knew I was really close the last time. Uh, so another three times, and then I hit pan on it, and that brought me to a total of 25 uses. No, not the best swatch. That is what that one looks like. So just a dark grey charcoal gunmetal type shade. Then let's swatch the other shades as well. So starting with the Creative Me. Just putting that on the palm. No, not the palm. On my hands, anyway. That is the green. And that is what's on my lids right now as well. Then we have Free Love. I'm just trying to find out the best way to swatch all of these because... I've only got a certain amount of fingers. Free Love right there. It's a really nice subtle orange color that I can kind of use on my eyelid or as a more of a transition shade. So that's what I've been doing, mainly as a transition shade, that one actually. And then we've got the red shade. How am I gonna do this? I think this should work. that is the red and as you can see it has a bit of a pinkish tone to it like it's not a full-on red so that makes it a little bit easier to like combine with some other things like as my crease color i guess so transition and crease is what i've done a few times i think but yeah that is a color that we still have left and now it's time to roll in two new shades and my fingers look great uh, let's see if I did not forget to like remove any I've got 156 shades that do not have pan which I'm thinking there might be one or two in there that I forgot to remove once I hit pan on them or once they got into another project but let's see what we're gonna end up with 41 and 15 okay let's see 41 is lady jane from my sigma makeup palette so those are pretty big pans and then 14 is beat down from the urban decay vice palette i'm excited to have another color from there okay i'm quickly gonna get those and let's see what we're gonna be working with them okay so i got the two palettes and i uh <laughs> accidentally already took a little sneak peek at my sigma uh, palette so lady jane in here and I know I have like a blue and a bronzy shade in here like a dark blue a dark purple and Lady Jane of course <laughs> is this one right here and that is kind of like a gray green type of shade and I definitely do not have anything against greens but as you know I've I've definitely been working my way around the greens this year so yeah that is what that one looks like so it's kind of like a what do you call it like a foresty green with a little bit of a gray tint to it it's definitely a dark shade so yeah that is uh one of the shades we're going to be working with and then we've got beat down in the urban decay vice palette which i don't know which one. okay so a beat down is this shade right here. So that's like a purpley blue right there. So it kind of seems to be like a blue with a like purple shift to it, depending on how the light hits it. So I've got two darker colors, I've got a bright red. A nice transition shade type something and then the green 
and I'm still trying to work through <laughs> like shades in other projects as well so this is I, I was hoping for just kind of maybe a a color palette that would be nice to me because I don't know how I'm gonna be putting all of this in one eye look per se uh, especially not considering I'm still working on a panda palette and I have eyeshadows in other projects but yeah this is the color palette we're gonna be working with so if you guys have any ideas on how to like combine any of these shades definitely let me know because I do need some inspiration but I think my main focus in the upcoming month is gonna be on this shade right here and I'm gonna try and use these other ones at least five times like I normally do although I don't know if I'm gonna be able to if I want to actually make some proper progress on my panda palette as well we'll see but yeah that is uh, my palette <laughs> anyway thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos bye, -bye.